right, so we're pretty reluctant to do this video, but we need to get it done and post it today. Yeah. Um, so I guess we're kind of just talking to ourselves, but looking at the camera. A lot of you have probably already heard, but Elijah Isham is no longer with us uh, and, and a crazy story, I guess. Um, we've read a little bit about it, but... Yeah. No matter what. We lost a member of the community. Yeah, definitely. And specifically to us too, like we we knew him, and we've got like <laughs> I don't know eight of his knives at least. A lot, you know? yeah. yeah. So it's tough. We found out uh, less than twenty four hours ago. And so our, yeah, still pretty new. We were actually on the phone when I found out, I was just, I happened to be scrolling through Instagram and uh, there was the news and I told you over the phone. And, yeah, uh, I was in shock. Well, I was too. I was just like, that's not true. That's not right. It can be. Yeah, I, it took yeah. me, it took me like probably hours for it to sink in. Like, no, that's the reality. Mm -hmm. So yeah, when did we meet him? Was it 2016 Blade Show? I think so. I think it was one of our very first Blade shows, and it was almost like, there's Elijah. He's so cool. Like, look at him. Because yeah. everybody knows that about him. He has the most awesome style. His his style in person mm -hmm. kind of matched his design. Just, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Which was which was cool. It was a, it was like a Different. selling. Different. It was a selling point in mm -hmm. itself, I guess. He just had like an image, you know. But. Whatever the story is, whatever like, whatever, yeah. whatever really happened, just know there's a lot more to it that none of us are ever gonna know. Right? Yeah. Exactly. So, there's just a lot more to it. And he will be missed for sure. Yeah, I always liked seeing him. We just saw him at uh, Shot Show 2022. Yes. That was just a couple of months ago. Mm-hmm. And he was with. Israel, Israel. Mm -hmm. his friend, yeah, Arcane Design, yeah, and uh, yeah, we we just spotted them. Well, we we saw him multiple times in Vegas because we've seen him at PVK, right? Yes, a, like mm -hmm. a couple of years ago, we went in there just randomly because you, if you're in Vegas, you have to <laughs> you have to go to PVK. But a few years back, he was in there, him and a bunch of the a bunch of their friends. Yeah, exactly. And then they come walking out. And we're every time we always we see him in like pretty much every show that we go to. It's mm -hmm. like you can always count on Elijah being there. We'd mm -hmm. be like, "Oh, I just saw you in Nashville," or when we were in Jersey checking into the hotel, mm -hmm. he was just standing there too. It was. Mm -hmm. It's one of those like we would always run into him. It was fun. Yeah, and just with his personality and style well it was notable for us yes, because yeah. we how many knives of his do we have I, I have a few in my hand right now this is the oops this is the mega Ethereum. Mm -hmm. that was one of our the first designs that we got of his isn't yeah, it yeah kaiser and they did yeah. kaiser did a really good job with oh it. and then because that one was way too big for me <laughs> the mini Ethereum. look at that one but yeah, everything was just so futuristic and stylish, and it was just what he, he... Yeah, well, show he, one of his most his extravagant... personality, too. One of his most extravagant designs we have oh, to own. Oh, yeah. I brought him, right? Yeah, I think so. But yeah, the main thing about the situation is that... This one. We need to remember him for everything good that he's done in the world. Yeah. The Eschaton. The Eschaton was Check that thing out. a Wii Knives release in 2018, I want to say. It's been, a, it's been three or four years. Mm -hmm. But that is an integral, integral, inside an integral. Yes. They fit together, <laughs> and it's mm -hmm. pretty crazy. And then it's a compound grind. These were not cheap, and... Yeah, there. I always, I think in our videos we always called it a functional art knife. Right. Yeah. yeah. Very artistic. I don't know. I would always like really love his outfits, 
and it was funny this is one of my stories because you always have to remember all the great stories that you have with people and it was fun I put this watch on this morning because it was the last conversation he was like Frankie is that a swatch he's the only one that knew that this was a swatch it was so cool I was like yes it is so I'll just have like one of those great memories too mm -hmm. with his big belt buckle too and just handlebar mustache mm -hmm. those awesome glasses I think the first time we met him was um with he was with John Gray oh yeah probably so mm -hmm. John Gray he has you know he's a custom knife maker that has um um designs production designs built yeah yeah and he's got the SLT and we always joked it was the slut mm -hmm. and uh, that was our first conversation with him. <laughs> I was laughing about that and then I think later that year or the next year um, Elijah started doing a lot of different production mm -hmm. designs and we made a meme about him and he loved it yes yeah <laughs> maybe I'll show it but because we kept like it was just his design after his design and we just mm -hmm. like we had a bunch of videos of his at the time yeah well, we brought in some of the knives, too, because Jeremiah over at PVK oh, yeah. is doing a fundraiser for his family. If you buy any of Elijah's designs, Elijah's knives, through PVK, he's going mm -hmm. to put all that money towards the, uh, Elijah's family. So uh, We'll put a link in for PVK. You might want if to, you've, if you've always liked one of Elijah's designs, you might want to get it. Mhm. Mm mhm. And help out with his family. Yeah. But the knife community is a family. Yeah. It really is. Yeah. So, I guess that's it. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. what we brought? We had some other ones of his. Oh yeah. Forget. Let me see. Maybe Remember this? Little ones? We had almost, we practically lost this. This is the Black Star. Yeah, yeah. Um, it is a slip joint. Mm -hmm. Oops. Kind of small for my hands, but yeah. <laughs> we practically lost that one. It's good to find it again. And the McKenna. Yeah, Sabibi. Yeah. What's, do you have the other one? Is it the. This is one of his newer ones, the Luzar. Luzar? Luzar. Luzar. Yeah. Where's that, that one that I really like? Is it the Anthropos? Yes, Am yes. Am I saying it right? Yeah, you, you yeah. are. Is it in that case? You just Sorry, remember just... all of the good stuff. That's all you can, you can do. This is my favorite knife of his for Civivi. Mm -hmm. I love the way the, the, I love the flipper design going across the top there. Yeah, he really thought of everything. Yeah. Got it out of the way, I guess. That's it. Yep. We'll post this later. This has got to go ahead of all the other... We have some other videos filmed, but I didn't want to post those videos until we did something like this, because if, if we put up those other videos, it's like, nothing happened, you know? Like, every, you know, we're just ignoring no, it or something. No, we, we filmed those, like, some of them even, I think a couple of them last weekend, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... Anyway... Yeah. Leave the leave the comments. Leave the good stuff. I don't want any like speculation of what no. may have happened because we just don't really know. I mean, and and I don't even me personally. Leave, I don't leave even know the if good I want stuff. To. Yeah, nothing nasty. Yeah. So, I guess that's it. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, thanks for joining us. Make sure to check out PBK for one of his knives. Yep. yep. Support the family. Yep.